Hello, Johnny. Have you got the the cash? No. Have you got the goods? Yeah, I've got the goods. Okay. Look at that. I've got the cash. There yeah. you go. Thank you. Lovely. Here we are, making spirits bright. What song's that from, Johnny? Do you know it? No, I don't. <laughs> making oh, spirits yeah. bright. Yeah. Oh, what fun it is to write and singing songs tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, yeah, jingle all the way. Lovely boy. I've just realised. Oh, come on then, Lillian. I didn't open. Oh, Lily, I didn't, I didn't open my advent calendar yesterday. My Peter Rabbit one. So shall we have a look? I don't. I think yesterday was fifteen. And today is sixteen. I can't even see fifth. Ah. Lillian, you're mucking up my coordination. Hello. Let's get you out. <laughs> I don't know which side he's going to be sitting on. And then number six. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at that, isn't it cute? Hang on. Oh, we've had such a dreadful time since you saw us last. We were attacked by a kitten. But hopefully he's gone now. Oh no, he's coming. <laughs> Peter's built a snowman, and we're going to put Samuel Whiskers over here. Can I be in charge of the food, please? No, I'm sorry. You can't be in charge of the food. I'm in charge of the food. Oh. Oh, oh that's Lillian digging. <laughs> Why did they do that? <laughs> We're walking really, really slowly, aren't we, Lizzie? Yeah. We're on a very icy, slippery walk up to Morrison's. We fancy going. We haven't been here in ages. We like walking to Morrison's, don't we? Yeah. Through the park. But we're being careful, because if I go over, no one's getting a Christmas dinner, Liz, are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't see what I'm filming, because the sun is right in my eyes. But it is ever so pretty this morning, isn't it, Lizzie? Yeah. It's really lovely. I don't know if you can see, but we've got all sorts going on over here. There's two, three squirrels, some pigeons, and then over here we've got this little bird. What sort is that, Lizzie? You're the bird expert. Brown one. <laughs> and then there's a magpie over there. Hello, Mr. Magpie. How's your wife and family? Look, there's a squirrel over here. Oh, he was just about. <gasps> oh, I wonder what's up to that. A tailless squirrel. I can't zoom in because it looks worse when I zoom in. Oh, whatever happened to your beautiful tail? Oh, look at him hopping. Oh, he's lovely. Look, look, Lizzie, look at that tiny little bird over there. Can you see it next to the big one on the floor? I don't know what that is, but there's loads of squirrels out here. It's a shame about our shadows getting in the way. They're all very, very busy. I expect they're getting ready for Christmas, Liz. Do you think? Yeah. There's loads of squirrels here. I could try and zoom in a bit. That's it. I like that squirrel yeah, I do. That one's my favourite as well. I wonder what happened to it. Keep warm, everybody. Keep warm. Sorry about the dryer in the background, but look what I got from Morrison's. Somebody recommended this to me, said we should add it to our list, so I did. It's the fresh stolen from the bakery bit in Morrison's, so oh, I'm looking forward to trying this. It's so much cheaper uh, to buy one this size, uh, like the ready-made, well, I know this is ready-made, but like one in a box. It was like eight or nine pounds, so this is a right old bargain. These bits feel a bit dry, but I can always put them in the toaster, can't I? Not in the toaster, but under the grill. I bet that'd be really nice warm. Anyway, that's enough for looking at this. I'm going to get on with the hoovering. Hello, I'm just waiting for James to join me. We're going to try this Stollen, which is 
hot off the press and out of the oven. Oh, I'll tell you what, I haven't done a lot today. I've just kept on top of the washing and that's it. Well, I've top and tailed the house like I normally do. And I had a walk up to Morrison's, but that was it really. But I, I haven't really got a lot more to do. I'm going to have a pre good old Christmas clean one day next week. But me and Lizzie have just caught up with Emmerdale today. Little baby Ian's here. He's just washing himself. He's so sweet. You've been a lovely boy today, haven't you? Doug's new place to sleep is in the kitchen and he's not coming out of there at the moment. Um, he's stretched right the way across one of the radiators in there. And he's having a lovely time. Oh, I was just going to see. I've seen this on the, near the Christmas tree. I wanted to see what's going to be happening in the soaps on Chris, over Christmas. Mixed last Christmas in EastEnders. Because me and Lizzie have caught up today with Emmerdale, like I said a minute ago. And I thought that the stuff that happened today in that was going to happen over Christmas. Oh, well, I found the page, so I'll have a look at a proper look at this in a minute. Yeah, I, I, I'm really out of date with Coronation Street, so I need to catch up with that. Who is that? Oh, I don't know very many of these characters. Yeah, I must be out of date. So we'll, we'll have a look at that in a little while. I wonder where James has gone. He's got that bright top on again. I'll find out where he got it from because I know that um, somebody asked. don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Probably not a lot again. I suppose I could. I've got to um, tidy up my sewing table. And I've told my neighbours that I was going to make them some stockings. So maybe I could do that tomorrow and show you those because they haven't got any and I said well you need stockings because how's Father Christmas going to know where to put all your presents so I thought I'd make them some pardon? oh garage has just called him about the car so I'm going to make them for them and give them to them from Doug to apologise for Mucking up his, um, James, you what? Oh, I think he's on the phone to someone else. <laughs> Hang on. He might have to go again. Right, well, so we've had some questions about your jumper. Where did you get it from? Do you remember? Uh, Amazon, I guess. I don't know. Did I? I don't remember. I know I needed one quickly. Oh. I had a comment yesterday pizza about and kittens. yeah pizza and kittens and um, gingerbread men. So I had a question: How can I award something seven point five when I said I, it tasted of perfume? I like florally perfumey tasting oh, things. Like sweets, yeah, yeah like, I like rose and violet creams, and I like Parma violets. And my favourite sweets, if I was to go into sweet. Shop are uh, in a sweet shop. Yeah, those little things. If I was gonna like in a little jar on the shelf, yeah, I I'd say, can I have? Well, it used to be a quarter of. Shall I give you a clue? It begins with an F. Floral gums. Floral gums are my favourite sweets. Yeah, uh, they taste of perfume. I love perfumey tasting things. And someone said that they had tried those Tesco ones that we had yesterday mm -hmm. and they thought that they tasted of dewberry out of the body shop. And I had another one for breakfast and that is what they taste like. I knew it was something out of the body shop. I had another thing as well about giving Ian and Doug milk, saying that I should never ever feed cats milk. Mm -hmm. You can feed cats milk. The only problem is if they get a sore belly, but Doug and Ian do not have sore bellies, do they? Because no. we... Someone stinks. <laughs> him, is he? He's having a wash. They have not got a problem eating and drinking milk. They're not lactose intolerant. No, we sort out their litter tray and they haven't mm. got bad bellies, have they? 
everything's running normal in that department. <laughs> yeah, so don't worry. Doug's had it every day for 13 years and he's absolutely fine. So I will continue to feed the milk. Right, let's try this then, James. This was in the baker's department and this was recommended to us as That's well. It does look like a handbag. Two pounds, everybody. What a bargain. Oh. I'm going to cut a slice out of the middle, I to be fair. He's got to go and roll around with a load of men now, haven't you? What do you think, Ian? Don't worry, I'm not going to feed it to the cat. Right, let's give it a go. Now, this is our first log that we've tried. Oh, I've said log again. I told you the story about log, didn't I? I don't know. You say that, but you might have told me that a year no, ago. No, I said last time I said it. log, I said I'd tell you the story after about my mum and my nan when she first went round the house when she met my dad. You have told me that before, yeah. not recently. I told it to you last week. Anyway, look at that. Nice. It does look very nice. Look looks at like the disappointment next. That looks like it's apple. It's not going to be apple, is it? What no, no, it's marzipan. All right. I can see cherries, James. Right, so you have that side. I'll have this side. Oh, my goodness gracious me. It's lovely. It is good. Oh, my God. It's lovely. What's this from? Morrison's Bakery. like the ones that haven't got alcohol in it's the fresh ones there's other nice ones were from a bakery that had actually made them not like mass produced ones oh this is so lovely isn't it mm -hmm. i'd say i like this as much as the other one the first the first place one i could look at that can you see the marzipan that's what james thought was apple I thought you knew it was um, marzipan. Yeah, I marzipan. I'm going to try a bit off the end to see how far the marzipan goes down. I love the way he concentrates on everything, do you? Mm. Oh no, the marzipan has not gone that far down. Empty. But let's try it, James. Mm. See, I love this sort of bread. I'll tell you what sort of bread. So when you were at school, hang on. Did you used to sing this song? <laughs> Probably not. Four current buns in a baker's shop. <laughs> Something with sugar on the top. Along came James with a penny one day. Bought a current bun and took it away. Do you remember that? Yeah. That is what I imagined the current buns in the baker's shop to taste like when I used to imagine that song. <clears throat> this is hot cross buns with marzipan in. Oh, I don't agree with you, James. With sugar on the top. I don't agree with you. That's a hot cross bun. Mm -mm. I think it's... Um, hang Two on. seconds. He'll be back. Yo. Joe. <laughs> I couldn't say that, could I? I couldn't get away with that. Um... Whilst he's gone, I'll prepare the thing. I like the same ice score, can't I? Oh, here's one I prepared earlier, although I think it's going to be too um, okay. Okay. wide. Oh, did you hear Doug sneezing? So Morrison's. What do you reckon then? What's the question? What what store do, what school do you give it? Uh, what did I give this? And I'm going to put in brackets for Resh. What's going on then with the old car? I'll go and get it now. Oh, have you? Mm. Uh, is um, your uncle come and pick you up? No, I've got to go and get it. Oh, well, you've got to walk up there. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. I think I'm going to match my score because I love it. I like hot cross buns, so 
I'd say. I might actually do a 9.5 because I think I could eat a lot more of this because it's not as sweet as those other ones. I'm going to eat any of this you don't eat when I get back. Yeah, I know you will. I think I'm going to go up to a 9.5 with this, James, because I I know that I could eat more of this than I could our current number one. Yeah. I don't know what we're judging it on, it's so... Well, hard. whether we like it or not. This is just a laugh as well, everybody. Don't take us too seriously. Don't say, oh, you do Well, she do it on something else. It's just a you joke. you can tell the difference. I, well, I, I know, don't even know what this is, and we've had 20 in a row. I know what we're doing next year as well. But I've, we'll wait till next year to tell you that. What I've you told you. I've told year. you. And you've said, what a great idea. He <laughs> pretends he's not... <laughs> He pretends he's not into all this, but he loves it, don't you? No. When we were doing our questions, you said to me, oh, we haven't done them questions yet, to remind me, because you what knew questions? that we hadn't. When we asked the questions over Vlogtober, you reminded me about Did that. Did I? Yeah. So come on then. Um, I think I could eat, if we're doing it on which would I rather eat, yeah. I prefer this to the other one. Yeah, the I do. Yeah. A nice surprise. I might go up to a 9.6 actually because I really, really, really love this one. I can't really go anywhere else, can I? And I I'll love, do the same then. And I love the marzipan in this one, and you can really, really taste it, can't you? <laughs> I'm excited about this. And it's £2. Surely that deserves a merit. Well, how much are the other ones? Oh, I don't, we don't know, know how much the other ones were. No, they were present. You can't look it up. Oh, and I'm sorry if you did buy them for them, buy them for us as a present. You know who you are. Um, you didn't make them yourself, so don't be upset with us. What are you talking about? Oh, what, if we prefer this? They were sent in, yeah. I like them the same. So you say 9.9 9, yeah. then? <laughs> yeah. You make me laugh. I don't know what you like. <laughs> so that means, James, we've got a new winner. 19.5 Ian for Morrison's Baker's Stolen Fresh. So go and get one, everybody. It's it's in a weird place. It's with the freshly cooked bread rolls and bread. It's not on the shelves, you have to be in the bit where they've done the baking. You've got low battery, you're not gonna last. Cool, look, Mom, I'm glad my friends don't send me messages like that. <laughs> you won't believe what one of his friends has said to him. Who is that? Who said that? Ben. Oh, okay. Was it about swimming? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense now. Right, so I'd better let you go, James, to go and sort the car out. Right. Oh, this is lovely. Right, I'll talk to you all later. I've got to say goodbye to James. Look, I've just cut myself another piece. I need you to appreciate this. Look at that. <coughs> that is just lovely, isn't it? You know, I just said I've got to say goodbye to James. I'm making a massive deal of it. <laughs> he's going up the road for five minutes and he's going to be back. I said, oh, I've just got to say goodbye to James. <laughs> he's now coming back again. Oh dear, I'm just arranging the scoreboard. <laughs> right, I'm going to go put the oven on and sort out some food. Cool, I've got easy stuff for everybody tonight. I've got pizza for Johnny. Lizzie's got her absolute favourite thing in the world, which is the microwavable bolognese. And Meg has got chips to cook in the oven that I'm going to grate some cheese on. Easy peasy, Ian. We have had a very, very, very relaxed day today, haven't we? I'm going to try and space these out a bit. I have been out, though. And I have done a load of washing. I did a Oh, no, I've ripped all this. I've done a load of washing and a load of ironing. But there's nothing else that needs doing. Morrison's Baker's Fresh Stolen. Lovely. Don't buy one, everybody.
go and buy one if you want right see you later well i'm done for the night for the day i've washed it oh no i'm not i've got to sort out some food for james when he gets back from the gym but that's it i've had a very nice day today i haven't done very much uh, oh, my, I've got to call my mum. She was supposed to be coming out of hospital this afternoon. She feels a lot more confident today and they've sorted out her medication and pain relief and she's managed to do some stairs today. So they've said that she can go home if she's happy to go home and she said she is. We've also sorted out the Christmas dinner politics, which is good. We're going to stay here. And my mum and dad and the old nan are going to stay round their house. I just need to find out what's going on with my brother and his children and partner. Uh, and we'll go from there. But I just, I'm just i glad I know what I'm doing. And it's such a coincidence because my vegetable box lady texted me today. Because I'd originally said that I didn't want one. Um, I didn't need one for Christmas. And she texted me today said I've got a spare. And I said, yeah, I do need one now. So, yeah, everything's sorted out. I've got everything I need. And James bought me a Christmas pudding for my birthday. So we've even got a Christmas pudding. All we need is some meat. And that's it. So that's good. I just feel all relaxed. Like everything's coming together. Like it always does in the end, doesn't it? I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. We'll see in the morning. I think I'm going to go to Silver World actually, but I'm not going to stay. I'm just going to go and um, weigh. I've got to get back into that in the new year. Not yet, but I just want to set a little bit of a benchmark so that they don't have too much of a shock when I go back after Christmas. I'm not bothered about that sort of stuff this time of year at all. Right, I'm going to go and, oh look, can you see that hole in there? I think that... Well, I don't know what's happened to that. I don't think it got churned up in the washing machine or something like that. I'll have to sew a little patch over it. I bet I've got a Father Christmas somewhere that I could put over that. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Bye! <laughs>